Okay guys, finally got the control arm out of the vehicle. Um, so now what the next step is to remove these two dust boots, okay, before we start pressing the board joints out. Select yourself the correct circlip pliers. If you look at the dust boot, there's two little holes that you need to actually get the tool into and squeeze it in. If you're lucky, it comes out easily. If you're not, it's jammed in there, but they do come out. Okay, so squeeze it in together and pry it out. Okay, they're just circlips. Turn it upside down. Same thing on this side. Just squeeze it in. If you have to, you probably have to use a screwdriver just to pry it up to help you. Okay, once it lifts up, you can actually pull it out. The hardest part is probably seeing those little holes in the clips due to the dirt and the mud surrounding it. All right, so the next step is to um, set it up on the press to press out the board joints without damaging it. All right, let's go. All right, so the first thing you need to do is actually support the control arm, okay? If you don't support it correctly, you bend it. Being aluminium, it's soft, okay? So whether you bend it, break it, same thing. So first thing, support the lower control arm, okay? As you can see, it's flush, okay? So make sure it's being supported properly. <clears throat> The second thing is to find yourself either socket or cane to suit the board joint itself. Okay, as you guys can see, that's a perfect fit. All right, next step is I'm going to start pressing it out. <clears throat> Hold it straight, do it slowly. Okay, there's a bit of pressure on that. Before you go any further, just make sure everything's still being supported and it's flush. So that, that's flush. All right, just continue. Pressing it out. Okay. okay. Take this plate off. <clears throat> Make sure you actually have the correct cone or socket. The reason is, if you don't select the right size, the bore joint will be actually being pushed into the socket and you'll jam it. Alright, so be aware of it. It shouldn't be too hard and there shouldn't be too much pressure. Okay, if there is, there's something wrong. Check it. There you go. See that? That just popped out. <clears throat> there you go. Ball joint. Okay. So that's ready now to be prepped up, okay? So I'm gonna take you to the bench and show you guys how to prep it up. All right, first thing is just to get yourself some wire brush, okay? We don't need to wash it or anything, just Get the wire brush, clean it as best as you can. Okay, both sides. Inspect it when it's clean. All right. The next thing I'll probably grab is like a pick. I need a pick with like a angle on it. Okay, so find yourself a pick. So at the moment, I'm preparing the arm so it's clean enough for me to install the bottom board joint. Okay, so continue using the wire brush. Use a pick to clean out the grooves. The grooves is where the circlip actually goes into. See what I'm doing? Okay, you don't need a lot of force. Okay, so don't go scratching the arm because it's aluminium. Okay, clean it. Both sides. Okay, this might take a bit of time. Okay, the arm has to be perfectly clean. If it's not perfectly clean, you're gonna have dramas reinstalling the ball joint 
and you're gonna have drummers reinstalling the circlip which holds the dust boot in. Okay, so there's no point standing here watching me. Okay, so remember the arm has to be spotless. Okay, so I'll continue cleaning and I'll see you guys later on when I'm ready to reassemble the job. See you later.